one thing for me that I've been really working on is um, continuing to be productive while being still. And still doesn't mean um, inactivity. Still doesn't mean, you know, pause on everything. It's still is not really like, you know, not doing nothing. It's being, it's more so being intentional. It's, it's, it's being discerning. It's being honest. It's, you know, moving with integrity. It's seeking counsel. It's being coachable. It's, it's, it's fasting. It's meditation. It's, you know, it's fruitful. That's, that's what stillness is. And it can be so many of those things, but I think that, you know, the direct contrast to stillness is overactivity, you know, pound the pavement. You got to, you know, another day, another donut or however you decide to colloquialize, if that's a word, however you decide to colloquialize the phrase, you know, it's like just trying to find ways to be more of myself in an easier more fluid and comfortable way because you know i'm sure everyone has done it in, in some aspect looking at your past versions of you your past selves a couple years ago you know i like to say a couple years ago a couple years ago you know having been in a completely different mental space you know, maybe your physical space is different, your, your geographical location, but just being in a different headspace, one of the things that I'm really glad this whole, as y'all say, Panasonic or panoramic, the, the panty, what the panty has, um, <laughs> I feel so absurd saying that, but what it has brought forth is this collective awareness of you know time of presence of yo purpose you know of forgiveness of love fucking patience compassion health wealth security sovereignty like it sheds so much light on so many of these positive, forward-moving, you know, blessings, abundance. These are high vibrational, you know, elements of our existence. I can't for one second resent anything. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. And I'm actually glad that this experience has enabled me to, you know, really dig deep while in that space of stillness and, you know, pluck everything that did not serve me out. And these are things that I never made time to deal with. These are things that I try to enforce other people to be accountable for. I'm talking about things that were inhibiting me from growing in love, things that were inhibiting me from, you know, advancing with my art, things that were inhibiting me from just being a fucking solid ass individual, you know? And it's like, I don't blame anybody but myself because well, number one, I've always had, I don't blame nobody for myself because number one, I've always had this thing with power and I'm like, I understand my magnetism. Therefore, even if you helped me to recognize something that was fucked up about myself based on the situation that went awry with you and I, it still falls back on me because you're here because I summoned you. I needed to get a lesson out of that situation. So in turn, it is in fact, I don't want to say fault, but I'm the reason you're here. I attracted you. I summoned you. So no, it ain't your fault. It ain't nobody's fault. It's mine. Thank you for the lesson. 
I'm not going to hold it against you because you're just a vessel, but I probably won't fuck with you no more. <sighs> That's been my mindset prior to all of this. And so, um, unfortunately, I used to be in the headspace where you wouldn't not fuck with a situation anymore, but you would still have that emotional anger. You would still have that emotional attachment. And that is what could suppress you from evolving spiritually. That is what can, you know, prevent you from becoming more, you know, emotionally liberated. That will keep you from ascending, holding on to hard feelings, holding on to downfalls, downfalling relationships, holding on to just counterproductive thought processes and, you know, habits. I'm, I'm telling y'all. I'm just like glad that the shit is is definitely been a purge, you know, and there's nothing there's nothing to to be more grateful for life, health, wealth, discernment, peace of mind, peace of fucking mind. Who doesn't need that? And I'm not saying everything is perfect because God knows. So yeah, that's it. Grandma mode is still in effect. I feel more, um, I feel more healthy. I feel more open. I feel more, um, secure. I find myself, um, I haven't, had a drink of anything in a while no wine i really haven't been fucking with liquor for a while but i haven't had any wine in um several months um i find myself doing a lot more breath work when i feel you know angst or when i feel like i'm you know becoming enraged or you know whatever i do a lot of breathing exercises to kind of you know talk me down <laughs> off the ledge i gotta back away slowly um so i'm just i'm just really you know taking up more space in my body in my life me the being not me the producer not me the person not me the product but me the being that's one thing i've, I've been able to successfully do or i have been successfully doing is differenti differentiating myself as the product versus the being because I've been the product for a fucking minute you know you always say you're a product of your environment or you're a product of you know your parenting or whatever I've been learning how to embody me the being without feeling like I have to do something to feel like I am worthy of existing you know I I I have to do this in order to be you know, to, to deserve to breathe. Can I, can I just operate in a state of gratitude for the day? Do I have to, you know, slave for hours and hours and hours just to feel something? Anything, something. Yeah. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of the, the counterproductivity of, you know, the, the the existing that I was doing. I feel like I've, you know, just completely surpassed that. Um, or I, I am surpassing that, you know? But yeah, that's all I, I kind of wanted to say. I think I'm for sure finna sign off right now. Um, I hope everybody's doing I don't hope, no, 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 no. I speak that everybody's doing well. Everybody is learning. Everybody is growing. Everybody is trying, trying to change, trying to learn, trying to grow. Because the best thing you can do is try for yourself. And I know some people feel like, oh, eliminate trying for your from your vocabulary. And da, 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 da. Everybody's not there yet. You don't just wake up one day and be like, I am baby. 
watch me walk. Sometimes you do. But more often than that, you have to learn. You have to do. You have to try. You have to get up. You have to fall. It's okay to try. You might not get it the first time, but that's okay too. Just fucking try. Try to have a conversation with yourself. Try to ask yourself questions. Try to answer them. If you can't do anything else, be fucking honest with yourself. You don't have to be honest with anybody else. It would be nice if you could, but you owe yourself honesty. The most complicated and complex relationship you will have will be the one with yourself. You will never leave you. You will never escape you. You can't run from yourself. You can try, but mm -mm. usually that doesn't age gracefully. Everybody say black don't crack. Guilt, regret, pain, you know, unresolved trauma, as y'all love to say. That will fuck around and crack your black. <laughs> Don't be misled. Don't be confused. Black does crack. Usually it's self-inflicted crack. <laughs> Just be careful. I Just be careful. Take care of yourselves. Mind your fucking business. Keep people who are elevating with you along with you. And keep people who are determined to stay stuck alone. Leave them by themselves, love them, shed your tears, and keep it pushing. All right, I'm done. It's been real, guys.